Welcome to Robert Bellissimo at the Movies, where I explore all things cinema. Folks, I did it. I made it to the Criterion Closet. <laughs> it's a replica. Uh, for those of you who don't know, the Criterion asked for the first time in the New York Film Festival recently have built a replica of the Criterion Closet and put it in inside of a uh, truck. And they did this at the New York Film Festival last year. And now they did it again over the course of uh, this last weekend where people could line up and make their own Criterion Closet video. And so the way it worked, it was that you, you like I said, you, you line up and once you get in there, you have three minutes from the time you enter. So you, you know, you, you got to be, I, I felt I had to be prepared and know what I was going to pick. Um, you, it, you know, as much as I was also tempted to just see what I would find, there was that element of being concerned. Oh, what if I can't, what if I draw a blank or I'm overwhelmed or, you know, by the sheer size of the, of the movies in there. And so I was well prepared, but as soon as you go in, the, the cameras start rolling and you have your three minutes. Now, I knew it was going to be busy, but I didn't expect it to be this busy. Uh, it was in Brooklyn, near the Brooklyn Bridge. And I got there. I flew in from Toronto in the morning. Uh, I got, I arrived in Brooklyn by about 12.15. And the line was actually cut off. And one of the people who works at the Criterion Collection came up to me and said, sorry, we can't allow anyone else into the line because the line is so long and they had a strict deadline that they had to be out of the, the park where we were by six. And I, I asked if I could wait to, on standby just to see if there was any, any way I could be squeezed in. And they said, sure. Within a couple of minutes, the last person in line, this woman who I am forever, who I will be forever grateful to whoever you are, uh, decided she did not want to wait for four hours because that was the wait time, four hours at that point. Uh, she did not want to wait four hours, and so she left and she said I could have her spot. And so I was the last person on day two of the, who knows when they're going to do this again, to get in, to line up at the Criterion Closet. Now, it was fate. It was clearly fate. Not only that, when I went to the airport in the morning, I got there early and they asked if I wanted to get on an earlier flight. So if I hadn't got on the earlier flight, I wouldn't have even had a, I wouldn't have been able to get into the line. With that being said, other people waited, you know, because naturally other people were coming and they wanted to get into the, into the lineup. Uh, and they were told, you know, there's no more room. And unfortunately, the line is closed. Now, a lot of people did leave, but some people just thought, you know what, I'm here. I'm just going to wait and see if I have a chance. Now, a lot of people actually got in uh, at a certain point. They realized they can squeeze more people in. And so I, I think I probably even if I had gotten on my original 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 scheduled pl flight, I think I probably would have got in. But it would have been a little more nerve wracking knowing that I was didn't have a guaranteed spot in line because once they cut the line off and telling people that you had to go on standby, everybody else was guaranteed to get in, even if you were the last person um so uh, you know just to be able to not be <laughs> nervous or stressed out about you know not being able to get in or not i at least knew i will be getting in but i was happy to see those people where i had the opportunity to get in um you know it was, and it was it was a lot of fun in terms of uh just meeting people talking to people uh in the lineup you know there were actors there there were filmmakers there there were film critics um you know Film people naturally waiting. Only film nerds would wait four hours to, <laughs> to get into the, a replica built Criterion closet for three minutes to do a video. Uh, but I love Criterion so much, and I love the Criterion closet video so much, and I love the Criterion channel so much that I was gonna do it. And sure enough, yeah, my legs were hurting, but I uh, I, I waited and I waited and I waited and I finally got in. Now, I must say the staff, uh, the people who work at Criterion are so friendly. 
the president, Peter Becker, was there. Uh, I'm sure a lot of you who have the Criterion uh, channel are familiar with him because he interviews different uh, celebrities and people on there. Nicest guy. He's going through the line, talking to everybody, and, and he and I had a, a brief conversation. Um, and the staff were passing out free snacks. They were engaging with people. We were all getting to know one another. Then um, they were pulling people out for interviews because uh, if anyone, I'll leave the link down below, but they made a trailer of the experience of the Criterion Closet at the New York Film Festival. And you'll see, like, they interviewed people and they, they cut it up into clips, uh, into this, you know, taking bits and pieces, sound bites out and, and putting it into this trailer. And so they were pulling people out for interviews. And then I got asked, um, and which... I was first of all, I've been up since quarter to six, so I was a little, I was a little tired. At this point, I'd already been waiting. I'd been standing for well over three hours, and my luggage, the handle was jammed, so I was lifting the luggage all day. Luckily, I only had a carry-on bag because I was only going to be there for a few days. But still, I mean, it's not the most comfortable <laughs> to have to lift a luggage all day, um, and so. But they were, you know, super nice. You can feel their attention on you as they were asking questions. Um, and, of course, I plugged my YouTube channel. I mean, I'd be crazy not to plug um, that my YouTube channel and that the Criterion Closet, which is true, is actually an inspiration for me starting the YouTube channel. And if you go back to my one of my my first, actually not one of, my first video was just me pulling uh, physical media uh, DVDs and Blu-rays off my shelf and talking about them because I was I was influenced by the Criterion channel so I mentioned that then I get a little note from one of the people who worked there that said free disc so I was able to get uh, something inside for free because they were they would allow everybody to buy through to take three movies with you to buy at a 40% discount so I was able to get one for free which was uh, fantastic so finally I make it into the Criterion Closet, and here is my video. Yeah, yeah roll it. Okay, God. Yeah. I am in the closet. This is uh, overwhelming, and I'm sure a lot of you watching are a little bit jealous, but <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. That's You'll get your opportunity one day, but I wanted to pull some of my favorite films that mean a lot to me. Uh, Mikey and Nikki. I actually just recently interviewed uh, Julian Schlossberg, who's on this disc. One of the nicest guys I've ever met who works in show business. Um, it's one of my favorite films, just Cassavetes and Peter Falk. I mean, you can't get any better. Elaine May is completely underrated. It's such a shame. We only have four films from her, uh, but this is a must-see, absolutely. Um, as a Canadian, my Uncle Antoine this is one of the greatest Canadian films of all all time. The NFB have done so much for Canadian cinema. Really started Canadian movies from the 60s, and this is one of the early ones by Claude Jutra, who passed away in the 80s, unfortunately. But this is a, an amazing coming-of-age film. If you haven't seen it, I highly, highly recommend it. Uh, Mildred Pierce. Uh, actually, Joan Crawford. I wanted to recommend Robert Dance's book on Joan Crawford. I'm actually going to meet him later tonight, called Ferocious Ambition. Uh, one of my favorite film noir movies, and what I love the most about it is that it really shows people social climbing, which is not talked about as much in film noir. Characters who try to social climb up the ladder, um, and for consumer, you know, consumer culture and things like that. I mean, it has a lot of crime at the heart of it. I'm so sorry, we are. Is it out. over? We are, oh no! Oh, I'm so okay, sorry. That's okay. Uh, do that's you mind okay. if I grab I got a... my? Th I got three in. You did get three. <laughs> yes, we and you got in meaty reasons. For yeah, them. for sure. Yeah. I got something about Cassavetes. Okay. Uh, let me see, enough. or do you not want to hold them for your? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me do that. I'm so sorry. No, I no, really it's do. Okay. I, I probably was talking way too much. No, not at all. I just I, I feel terrible every time I have to cut someone off no in problem. the middle of a profound no thought. Thank you very much. Now, as you can see, I I was cut off. Uh, I probably talked way too long. Uh, I had told myself in my head, you know, originally I wanted to pick ten movies. God, I would have. That would have been a disaster. I mean, as you can see, it was hard to talk about three movies. But I had somewhat rehearsed in my head what to say. But at the same time, I was nervous. 
I, w I, I was overwhelmed that as an as an actor, I it sort of felt like going into a big audition, you know. Um, but I, I, the, another thing is that the people who were uh, videotaping it, they uh, Valeria was nicest, really really nice woman. Uh, they actually are the ones who produce those videos and film it, and and so you know you're you're being you're 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 in you're in good hands. You're in the hands of the people who make the Criterion Closet videos. But I had told myself, you know, talk for twenty seconds each, and as you can see, that out that went out the window. Not only that, I was overwhelmed to the point where I almost forgot what I was even going to ask for because uh, you know she was trying to help me and go. Uh, someone on Reddit said, pick, make sure you know what you want. Uh, no, she, they said to ask them to get the movies for you first. Otherwise, you're going to be browsing. And as one thing, that, so they gave us some things in the line, and, and this was one thing, uh, which was a, a nice booklet. And as you can see, it has every single movie and all the spine numbers, so it would help you find what you wanted quickly. But honestly, this is... There are, this, there are so many movies to find. Even with this, I found it challenging to be able to find everything. Um, I even watched some of the ones people posted from the New York Film Festival on YouTube um, to to try to scout out where, where things were so I would kind of generally know where to go. But yeah, that was a great tip. Um, so I did that. And so I had everything uh, lined up. But as you could see, I, I was just about to talk about A Woman Under the Influence a little bit, um, and I, I didn't get to it. But uh, <laughs> here, I'll, I'll, here's my extended criterion closet, uh, which I've... Uh, one thing I'll say about this is that what my intention was to pick the Criterion Collection 5 uh, films box set. And it was one of the few things that was already sold out. Now, and everybody sort of... Uh, uh, was so disappointed because I guess a lot of people had Cassavetes box set uh, on their list to pull. And on the one hand, I was disappointed, but on the other hand, I was like, hey, that's a lot of love for Cassavetes, my favorite filmmaker, that a lot of people clearly want that box set or wanted to talk about it. Uh, so they, you were only able to get this in there, a woman of the, uh, just a single disc. Um, and so... I didn't get to talk about it, but we you all know how much I love Cassavetes. I don't have to. <laughs> this is one of my favorite films. One thing I'll mention was that uh, what I was going to say was that I recently saw it in Toronto on the big screen for the first time at Review Cinema. Shout out to Review Cinema. And I actually felt I always get emotional watching the film, but seeing it on the big screen, I got even more emotional uh, watching it and, and to hear people react to it. And I, you, I could tell that some people were seeing it for the first time. So just to see their reactions, uh, whether they gasped or, or what have you, um, was really, was really, really special. So it was incredible to see it. Then I saw it with my, uh, wife and, uh, she actually didn't care for it, but we won't discuss that. We won't, <laughs> we won't go any further with, with that one, but we also got, uh, some free little other little free, whoops, sorry. We got free criterion buttons. So I took a, a few of those, which are very, very nice. And we got a free tote bag. And speaking of my wife, I would show it right now in the video, but uh, my wife went to work and she borrowed it. But sharing is caring, and I'm I'm totally fine uh, with that. But it's a really, really nice bag. And as you can see, I am wearing this black sweater. I'll stand, and it's the, they now have uh, Criterion sweaters. And it's really, really nice and cozy. Perfect for the fall and winter coming up. So... This was an extraordinary uh, experience. So follow Criterion on social media and stay posted on when they're going to do it again because I know they're going to tour around. I don't know where they're going to go, uh, but keep your keep your eyes and ears open. Oh, one last thing I'll, I'll say was that they, they were also – you're not only creating your own video, but they – I mean, I guess that goes without saying that – like I said, they were filming it. So they, you're, I'm filming myself with my phone and they were shooting everybody's uh, Criterion Closet episode in there. And so like we saw with the New York Film Festival video that I referred to earlier, um, they, they're going to take bits and pieces from, I guess, the ones that they like 
the most and and make a trailer out of it. But uh, you know, I, I don't know exactly what they're gonna do. I mean, everybody had to sign a waiver that you're fine with being filmed and and that you know and things like that. And so we'll see what they do with it or what they have in mind. But it was it's a one said oh oh how could I forget this? As you saw at the end, I took that picture and here's me. And another thing was that it, 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 so many of the people even who worked, as you can see, the pink shirt I'm wearing is the Criterion uh, pink <laughs> Criterion Collection pink shirt. And a lot of people, including Peter Becker, was surprised I had it. I love the pink shirt. So I took my Sharpie and I got my signature on it. I'm going to have to frame this. I mean, the Polaroid, this is classic. So it was incredible. So again, follow them on social media and... Go the next time they do it, if you can. Co-written co by, although, uh, Thank you so much, everyone, for watching. I want to thank all of my members on Patreon. If you're interested in becoming a member of my Patreon, head over to the link patreon.com slash Robert Bellissimo at the movies for full details. Patreon is exclusive content that I create month in and month out. And as a subscriber, you are able to vote on polls and contribute to what I do on Patreon month in and month out. So head over to the link for full details. You can also leave a donation directly to my YouTube channel by pressing the thanks link, which you will find directly below the video frame. Just click on the thanks link and you can leave a donation there if you choose to. And lastly, if this is your first time here, please consider subscribing. It is absolutely free to do so by pressing the Robert Bellissimo at the movies logo. You will see it floating above my head in the top left corner to your top left in just a second. Just click on that and then click the bell in order to get a notification every time I release one of my new episodes also click the like button and leave a comment below let me know what you think of this episode also you can also share the episode all of these things are what produce traction uh to my youtube channel so i appreciate you watching and thank you again and i will see you in the next episode